In Cross River State, the youth have been advised to embrace opportunities that will make them employers of labor and contribute their quota to national development. Governor Leah Limoke gave this advice at the 2014 Cross River State Youth Enterprise Program held in the state capital, Calabar. He also re-emphasized his commitment to create more jobs through various programs, such as the Microfinance and Enterprise Development Scheme. In keeping its promise to the people of Cross River State, the present administration of Governor Leah Limoke has resolved to continue tackling unemployment and empowering the youth through the setting up of the Microfinance and Enterprise Development Agenda, MIDA, at this year's State Youth and Enterprise Showcase event held in Calabar. For the youth who are here, it couldn't have come at a better time. As a Cross River State Governor says over 3,000 have benefited from micro, small and medium enterprises across different sectors in the state via the MEDA scheme since 2007. For us, it is imperative that we provide an environment that will facilitate those who are committed and hardworking. The Cross River State Special Advisor on Investment and Promotions also spoke on the need to create more jobs in the next few years from the over $3 billion investments from various companies in the state. In Cross River State, it's important that we create at the minimum 3,000 skilled jobs annually to be able to stem rising unemployment. We also need to create over 30,000 unskilled jobs annually to keep our school members who haven't entered the university yet engaged. I want more than 1,000 there. Some of the beneficiaries were presented with funds from the governor. 0.5 million there. Governor Imoke later took the time out to inspect an ongoing project named Summit Hills in Calabar that will boost the state's tourism potential, along with the PDP national chairman. It's expected as thousands get trained in entrepreneurial development and capacity building through the middle scheme by the Cross River State government, it will make them become more self-reliant and employers of labor.